Dom says, Hey, Trip, love your podcast and all the great tips. I'll dive right into my question. Recently on a podcast, I heard you say that texting should mainly be used for scheduling meetups for face-to-face interaction and not really showing your wit or personality, which I agree with. However, when it comes to online dating, say I match with a girl on Wednesday and we schedule a face-to-face meeting for Sunday, how much interaction, text or phone call, and what types of conversations should be happening in the three days leading up to the date? I want to make sure we still have plenty to talk about and things to find out about each other during the date itself, but I also do not want to seem uninterested by not texting at all until the day of the date. Any help or advice on this would be awesome. Look forward to hearing from you and continuing to learn from your podcast. Sincerely, Dom. Dom, uh, another topic I do talk about a lot, okay? So remember this, okay? Yeah, I, I get it. I understand we're all fighting our urges to try to make sure that the girl doesn't flake on us And you set up a date that's a little far away that you might want to be texting them. So here's the thing. You still don't want to do it. Here's the exception. If you end up setting a date far out, which you did not, by the way. It sounds like it was maybe, what, Wednesday to Sunday? I don't know, three or four days? Five days the most, right? That's not too much. If it happens to be where you schedule something more than six to seven days, then just go for a FaceTime date until, or I should say, before you set up a real date. So let's say you try to line up your schedules and she's like, I'm not free till, you know, the Thursday after next, which is like seven, eight days. Say, okay, no worries. Why don't we do a FaceTime date and start there, right? You can say that to her because then you kill two birds with one stone. One, if you're not waiting too long, so you don't lose attraction. But then the second thing is, you get to do a FaceTime date, and that is much easier, quicker, cheaper, and it could be a great way to find out if you even like this girl. Like, what if you find out on the FaceTime, oh, this is a girl I'm not even interested in, glad I didn't waste my time setting up a full date, right? So I would do that, and that's a tip for most guys. If you want to do more FaceTime dates to start, I think that's perfectly appropriate, and you can totally do that. I've had clients who have done that who they're very busy people. They get a lot of matches because we've reworked their profile and made it awesome. So they get all these matches. So then they do more FaceTime dates so they can see if this is someone they actually want to meet up with. Okay, so that's one tip. Now, I know that it sounds like extreme advice, and it is, but I still want you, if it's less than you know five to six days that the date is set, no, you don't text. You don't text. If she's interested, she'll show up. Okay. Now, I'm not saying that you ignore her. This is a a big, important thing here. If she's texting you, yes, respond. I wouldn't respond so quick and I wouldn't get into large texting conversations. Give her a nice response. I would still do it within the day, but give her some sort of response. So then she knows that you're interested. And then still do not try to continue conversation by asking all these questions and instead Wait till the date like you want to. You even said this here. You said, I want to make sure we still have plenty to talk about. Good. That's fantastic. I love that mentality. That is the mentality. You want to have lots to talk about. So how do you do that? You don't text. And if she doesn't show up on the date, okay, well, boohoo, she wasn't that interested in whatever. The problem is, is you have more room for error to screw it up to be texting her than not. So we're weighing our options here. Okay, think about this logically. And this, you got to trust me here. And if you don't, go ahead and, and try it out. Again, I had a client who went against my wishes. I told him, listen, do this, which was do not be texting her. Guess what happened? He was texting her. They were texting a bunch. And then he said something that turned her off. And then she canceled the date. That happens all the time. So it is going to be more attractive to be a person who is going to not be texting her. Anyway, let's let's weigh the options again. If you text her, you end up having more room for error. If you don't text her, then you're thinking, ah, she might lose interest. But again, there's not going to be anything you're going to say that's going to screw it up. Because there is no right thing to say. And don't listen to any coaches who tell you, oh, let's send these text messages to build attraction over text. Like, it just doesn't work that way. It just doesn't work that way. So if she wasn't interested, all right, then she's not interested. 
then then whatever. Then okay, she cancels the date. But if she's interested enough, then you're going to have an awesome date. If she shows up on that date and you guys didn't text, this girl likes you. And that's awesome. And also, wouldn't it be great? And this is how we think in the abundance terms, right? Abundance mentality. That you were setting up so many dates that you were filtering for the ones who were the high level of interest who showed up without you texting them and the ones that weren't that interested who said, oh, he hasn't texted me. Okay, bye. Well, they obviously weren't that interested then. So we're constantly filtering, constantly, constantly filtering for the women who have a high level of interest. And you better believe that that girl will show up. So I want someone to come back to me and tell me. I want to hear actual proof that they have set up so many dates and that all the ones that they've set up where they did not text them, these girls just flaked. I get it. It's going to happen. But you don't know that that would have happened anyways. But anyways, the whole thing here is is that it's not going to happen. Now, again, if you're setting up dates that are longer than six days away, yes, that is that is a long time. But that's where you do the FaceTime date. And that's where you can fix that problem to then again build attraction and lessen the chances of a flake for the next time you guys set up a date, which hopefully can be closer to the date. Now, maybe you have a FaceTime date and she still can't do a date for another you know, week or 12 days. Okay, well, so be it. Maybe you can do another FaceTime date. Well, set the date and if she shows up, she shows up. And if not, not, then she wasn't that interested from the FaceTime. But if you did a FaceTime and you like her and she likes you, She'll show up on that date, even if it's like two weeks away. Again, we're talking about if you set a date after that FaceTime that you do, and it happens to be far away. 